Can we talk about how, what are you doing to grow the podcast? One of the questions I get from people when I tell them, you know, we do, I, oh, I do the business brain podcast each week. The question they ask is, well, how do you turn that into a business? You know, so can you speak to that uh, as far as, you know, applying your, your skill set and the, you, you know, the business acumen that you've had with your other business to growing everything everywhere? Uh, sure. So let me give you some numbers. So I just finished the month of July. July 2020 was my first month of the show. So it's been going on for two years. My first month of the show, I had 6,000 downloads. Uh, July 2022, I had 702,000 downloads. Um, And that's a 560% increase over 2021. And so it's grown quite a bit. Um, I'm getting about 16, 17,000 downloads an episode after 30 days right now globally. Um, and basically what I did is when I started, I'm, I'm pretty data orientated about a lot of things. It's like, <laughs> Clearly. Okay, yeah. What do big podcasts do to grow their shows? And I ignored all the podcasting gurus who are podcasting gurus for the most part, because they have never grown a big show <laughs> because the people with very big shows don't run courses on that's how to right. do podcasting. Yeah. They have a big podcast and that's how they make their money. Uh, and a lot of people say, oh, social media and put out audio. No, that stuff doesn't work. And I and I went and I found interviews with very big podcasters when they talked about their show. And they all said the same thing. Social media, for the most part, doesn't work. You want right. to put out a tweet or Instagram post, that's fine. But it's not going to grow the show. You're catering to an audience that already follows you. Either they know about the show and have already committed or they don't care. Um what moves the ball forward is promoting your show on other podcasts. I know that you invited me on your show. I said, yes. Why? Because I know 100% of the people listening to the show, listen to podcasts by, by definition, by right? definition. So that's right. Yeah. Yep. So being a guest is one way to do it. Uh, but the biggest way has been uh, buying advertisements on podcast apps and doing feed drops on other shows. And the way I, I tell people is that a lot of people, they want, they desire their podcast to be a business and then they host on anchor. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah, right. 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 You are unwilling to spend $5 a month to host your podcast and you are hoping for success. And this is like setting up a restaurant in a tent on a, a abandoned piece of land because you don't want to pay for rent. And then hoping your restaurant's going to be successful. No one wants to go there, right? right? You right. know, you want yeah. to look. And so it's just like any other business. You have to spend money uh, in marketing and promotion. No different than anything else. But you have, you to, have spend to spend money, money in the right places. And no, you're you're a hundred percent right that the you know promoting on other shows is far and away the place we have the most success as well as in yeah, terms and, of growing and, the audience. Yeah. Some people may not care, but some people say, oh, I'll check that out. At, the, at the very least, you're promoting to people who are going to listen to a podcast because they are literally yes. listening to a podcast. And I, the, I've just it, it's been I've just uh, purchased my biggest ad buy uh, hmm. ever. It'll be running in starting in a few weeks on uh, player dot FM. Uh, that was a five thousand dollar ad buy. I bought their top tier. And if you look at who's advertising on that it's net big network big network big network and then it's going to be dude sitting in his basement doing a daily history podcast it's perfect and most of these are like business shows and there's and i know you guys run a business show but there's a lot of business shows there are oh boy yeah. um so what i and well the other thing i found is uh, when i run ads like on overcast or uh uh, podcast addict, they usually tell you, oh, you know, here's the range you'll usually get for new subscribers. Sure. I am always over that range. Really? Always. Oh, that's good to yes. hear. Oh. And I think it's because of the uniqueness of the show. A couple of things I didn't know when I started is that because it is a short show, people tend to listen to shorter podcasts first. 